Hi YouTube viewers, this is Merle Strom. You're looking at the Black & Decker 40 Volt Max Cordless Lithium Ion Handheld Hard Surface Sweeper Mulcher Vacuum Model LSWV36 that I ordered at Walmart online on September 27 and received on the afternoon of September 29 by a FedEx. Currently, this model is not available at the Walmart store nearby, so I decided to purchase this online. This was on clearance for $84 plus tax and still is the last time I checked today. When I finalized my order, Walmart's price was the lowest price available for this model that comes with a lithium battery and charger. Well, with Walmart's two-day shipping, how could I refuse when I badly needed this tool this fall? My Electric Steel BE55 Mulcher Blowbax collection bag broke. I can only sweep the leaves and the seeds from my ash trees, but I cannot mulch anymore without the collection bag. The replacement bag cost $32 plus tax, which is outrageous, especially this is an old model. This old tool has served its purpose for years. It is best to get a newer cordless model so I don't have to drag the cord all over the place. Anyway, let me open the box to show you how it was packaged the different components, and how they function as well. I decided not to pull out every component out of the box on camera since they are packed tightly inside. I'll take them out off camera and lay them on the table for you to see. Here are the components placed on the table randomly as they were taken out of the box. I will be going slowly so you can see all the components. The first one is the power head. With the on off switch. The power command dial with six settings. The fan cover release button. The fan cover. The battery compartment. and the sweeper housing slot to connect the sweeper tube on sweeper mode and the collection bag on vacuum mode. The other components are the collection bag the sweeper tube in two pieces
the vacuum tube in three pieces. The lithium ion battery with charge level indicator at the back. and the charger. Here is the live footage of the surface sweeper four hours after it was completely assembled. The battery has been sitting on a charger for that long and is still blinking red. Either the charger or the battery is defective. Before giving up on this, I tested it and see if it works. Although charging was unsuccessful, the charge indicator was showing three green lights. Putting the battery in the compartment is a challenge since the springs kept on ejecting it. You have to make sure it is fully seated and fully latched into position, otherwise it will not turn on. The good thing is, the sweeper itself works. Now it's time to test it outside. Sweeping these ash seeds manually is really a hard chore, worse than the leaves. This is the main reason why I decided to purchase this cordless sweeper in the first place. It seems to be powerful enough for what I needed to accomplish. Even though the charge indicator had three green lights on it, the sweeper only lasted for under five minutes. I called Black & Decker at 1-800-544-6986 and explained what the problem was to the customer service representative. She said that the battery was pre-charged before the sweeper was sold, which was the reason why I was still able to test it. She said that the charger is defective and will send me a replacement in 5-6 to six business days. On page 6, third instruction under charging procedure of the manual states that the green LED will flash indicating that the battery is being charged. Also on page 6 under bad battery indicates that the red LED flashes in the pattern indicated on the label. If you see this bad battery blink pattern do not continue to charge the battery. I told the representative that I suspect that the battery is the one that is defective, but she insisted that it is the charger that is defective. Since I cannot charge the battery, I cannot show you how the vacuum mode works. By the way, to use the vacuum mode, push the collection bag to the sweeper housing until the lock lever engages.
Remove the fan cover by pressing the fan cover release button. Attach the vacuum tube to the fan inlet by lining up the tabs on the tube with the slots on the sweeper housing and push inward until the locking release button is engaged. This concludes my unboxing and review of the Black & Decker 40 volt max lithium ion powered hard surface sweeper vac model number LSW V36. If you have questions or concerns, leave your questions or comments down below. I will answer them as soon as I can. If you like this video and the other videos I've made, don't forget to click the like button below the video screen. If you haven't done already and would like to subscribe, please do so before leaving my channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.